there are unlimited number of keyboard applications available for both the android and ios if you just go on the play store and just search it there are many many uh, good keyboards are there but amongst those all the good keyboards the one made by the google is very impressive and formerly known as the google keyboard gboard is arguably one of the best keyboard apps for android as well as ios that you can use and if you recently brought an android phone especially the stock ones it's going to come with a gboard keyboard preloaded on it while you may have realized by now that it is fast and offers some really great features did you know that there are some really cool hidden tips and tricks so guys in this video i'm going to show you some 15 plus cool uh, gboard tips and tricks and personally couple of them i really discovered today itself so they are so nice here using those tips and tricks you can increase your productivity and you will love to start typing it. so let's get started and before we start here is a quick way how you can go inside the settings you might need to enable few things also for example this number key this g so simply click here and you will see two options click on the gear icon go inside this gboard keyboard settings so there is a google search option make sure this one is turned on and you can go to the advanced section a lot of things are there preference is more important you can enable this number row key you can show this emoji key in case you want to not want to this is a permanent key you have to click on the same when the punctuation mark that we have used and also you can select which kind of qwerty keyboard you want the language preference everything you can do that also you can change the theme so we'll see that thing later voice typing dictionary you can also add it from here this is a simple settings that you have to do by default google keyboard comes with a google translate feature built in now you might have seen this google translate as a standalone android application and along with that there's a direct website translate.google.com so everything is just exactly the same now this thing is directly built inside the gboard keyboard clicking on this google tap icon you will see there is a translate button icon if I can show you here just next to GIF once you click here you can see by default it will detect your language and the second I am just taking as Hindi my native language if I just type here it's gonna simply type and translate by itself so that's one of the best features that you can get inside the Gboard now if you have written uh, some long text or messages so sometimes it is quite difficult to navigate between them especially if you're going to do some you know typo corrections so the best solution is that just uh, open your gboard keyboard and just watch it carefully you need to use this space bar to use as a trackpad on the bi direction that is either left or right you cannot do it and up and down so just you have to slide it gently you can see now now right now i am a customizable if I just slide it again I can go back to the picture so in that way I can easily you know correct all the typos that I wanted to there is another way to do the text correction and navigation so using the space bar is a good but you know you have to be very accurate in sliding your fingers so but sometimes it's not possible you can see I just now accidentally insert this space bar there there is another solution open your gboard click on this G button here again so right here you can see there is a option called as a text editing you have to click here now this will give you a fully fledged option like you do get in your physical keyboard so you just use it in that way and you can just slide on where you want it to once you are done just click back you're going to get your normal keyboard back as usual now let's check out and see some of the keyboard shortcuts we'll start with the punctuation shortcuts so there is a period button here key so once you click here long press you can see lot of punctuations here so just slide it down carefully whichever punctuation you want and just uh, leave it that way because it's gonna take and insert that punctuation you have to use this uh, button you can see this is called as a question mark one two three button just click here so once you click here you can see you have to just uh, hover it there once you go there it will try to insert that special character and in between that if there is any further special character it will show you as a pop-up for example I want to insert this uh, or go inside this add button I want to insert this so many characters are there going here so you have to check out and see which one you want similar to the punctuation and the special character shortcuts a single letter can be capitalized using the same method so there are a couple of ways to do that first one if you go, if you're going to type anything you just have to click once the first character will be capitalized or in case you have to make the character next one is a capitalized you just have to press here and simply just take wherever you want it to so this one make the second one as the character and in case you want to just type in complete capital letter you just have to press it twice so all the characters and here you can see everything is in the capital letter now there is no easier way to express our emotion than by using emojis there are two ways to using the emojis directly here either you can directly enable this emoji key or in case you haven't enabled this emoji button here you can just uh, long press here so once you have enabled here this thing will get removed from here so once you press on this emoji key you can see there are options like gifs and there is a 
a bit more also you can also insert the gifs file here also you have to just uh, navigate here and you can search the gif files from here so many ways to insert the cool emojis and the gifs file one of the best reason to use the gboard keyboard is that there is a built in google search in your keyboard directly you don't need to unnecessarily go to the google search bar options or use the google.com to get the google search whatever you wanted to just you have to tap on this g button there is a direct google search coming to your home steps so once you go and type anything it will simply show it here and you can now insert the same card or share it from here so once you click here just click on the share button it will the share card directly from the keyboard itself now if you have already purchased the latest 2017 flagships which are coming with a taller display like the Galaxy S8 Plus or you're gonna buy Note 8 LG V30 so it is very tough to you know sometimes uh, type on the same place the best solution is use the one handed mode you just have to click on this G button again this is very very helpful key you guys have to remember so press on this uh, three dot options you can see this new option called as a one handed just click here it will enable this thing now you can easily click here and you can make it righty lefty Okay, now you can just click on this button, it will resume to the normal position. To add your own custom phrases, you just need to click on this uh, punctuation, click on this gear icon, just go inside the Gboard keyboard setting. You can see there is an option called as a dictionary. So you have to go inside this personal dictionary, you can create any letter you wanted to for all the languages, keyboard or just for any specific. So right here you can see if I just go and click on this thing here, you can create your own shortcuts. So the shortcuts alias is at the rate gis once you type at the rate gis it's gonna type complete at the rate gis support or again the second one is that if i just type gopta it's gonna type the complete channel of my name and here's the one just note it carefully at the rate gis you can see on the center it's gonna give me the complete alias name that i have typed or if i just type here the second phrase that i wanted to so right here you can see it's gonna give me complete name here once i click back i can get all the shortcuts back not all keyboards give us option to type a fraction but Gboard gives you such flexibility to insert fractions simply tap on this again 1 to 3 button click on this here but you need to make sure to enable this number hero on the settings once you click here just take it there you can see you can insert fractions suggested common fractions there once you are inside this 4 5 you can just type 5 by 8 there so any fraction you want you can add it here if you have to type a lot of numbers, Gboard has a small trick for you as well. The app allows you to type numbers as you would on the dial pad. You can see here this again the 1, 2, 3 key. Just click here. Once you click there, you can see there is a 1, 2, 3, 4 button or key is enabled. Once you click there, you have the usual, uh, you know, all the 1 to 9 characters. So you can use it so for fast typing between the numbers. This is pretty great option. Other than that, you can simply enable this number keys. But it is kind of stretchy. So this option is quite helpful. If you are too lazy to type or do not feel like typing then Gboard allows you to dictate to it whatever you want to type. This feature is delivered from the Google text to speed so make sure it is installed on your phone and it supports 119 languages. So you can see right here there is a voice option is there or you can just go inside this setting and make sure you have the proper voice setting enabled so you can do it from going inside this voice setting. So let's type something. Google keyboard tips and tricks. So quite impressive. You might be wondering, I have a red theme here, so a lot of comments I do have here, how do I enable all this thing? You have to go inside the settings again, so make sure to play with all the application settings, that is very important. Once you go, there is a theme section there, so you can see right here, you can take so many colors option are there, or along with that, there are default built-in landscape mode, or you can just simply click and browse your own wallpaper, right here you can see. And guys, it is 2017 and everybody is just moving to the cloud. So why not have such cloud feature on your smartphones too? So once you go inside this Gboard setting, go inside this uh, dictionary section. There is one. We have already talked about it earlier. So this dictionary gives you a feature of sync also. So whatever things you will add here. So whenever you will sign in with the same Google account on any other Android device, you will get the same kind of phrases, you know, shortcuts, whatever you have created, all the customization you will get on the another device. So guys, there you have it. This is your Google keyboard tips and tricks. I'm sure there must be some other cool tips and tricks. So these are the all that I have found in case you're purely relying on the Google services like Chrome browser you're using or you're using Google Maps, all the Google application in case you're using. So this is very, very recommended keyboard because you're going to get all the things that you type on your computer browser or any other Google application. You can get all the power, all the searches on the Gboard itself. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. This is Sarab. I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.